What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I want to talk about these Julio Jones trade rumors. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. Um, I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for continuing to tune into the channel. Um, continuing to share out my content on all the social media platforms. If you would like to follow your boy on Twitter, you can follow me at Jew Talk Sports. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So like I was stating, um, if you haven't heard earlier today, it was reported on Twitter and on Facebook. Um, Ian Rappaport basically stated um, that the Falcons are taking calls because um, teams are interested in Julio Jones and possibly trading for Julio Jones. Um, I don't know what it is, but it seems like every single offseason for the last couple years, um, trade rumors and trade talks always come up when it comes to a player like Julio Jones. Um, I know that Julio Jones is a great player. Um, I'm not buying into none of these trade rumors. I really think because the NFL draft is Thursday, it's kind of like clickbait. Um, of course, the Falcons will accept any call. If you're the GM, you have to take, you know, you will be receiving calls from other GMs and things of that nature. Um, but it really doesn't matter if the Falcons are not uh, looking to move Julio. And basically from these reports coming out from Ian Rappaport and all of the different networks, NFL Network, ESPN and things of that nature, um, all of these, you know, talks, trade talks that are coming out from the media the Falcons, I, I really don't believe that the Falcons are openly trying to move Julio Jones. Of course, they'll take your call about Julio Jones and see what teams are you know, willing to offer. But I really don't. I really feel like this report uh, by Ian Rappaport and by the media stating that, you know, teams are calling and possibly trading for Julio Jones. Of course they are, because Julio Jones, to me, is the greatest wide receiver to ever play in the NFL or definitely top three. Uh, all time when it comes to wide receivers to play in the NFL. So, of course, teams are going to call. Of course, uh, GM Terry Fontenot is going to be, you know, taking those calls and things of that nature. But I really don't feel like this means anything because I don't believe that the Falcons are actively looking to move him. Um, I really feel like this is just other teams that may be calling that's interested. But unless you're willing to give us the farm, give us a couple first round picks or first round pick and a couple second round picks, I really don't see the Falcons moving on from a player like Julio Jones because it doesn't make a lot of sense cap wise. And it really doesn't make sense um, for the Atlanta Falcons in general. If we're a team that believes we're on the brink of winning a Super Bowl and that we're close to winning a Super Bowl in the next you know, two or three years while we still have Matt Ryan here. To me, it doesn't make sense to move his best piece you know, on offense. I really I could argue that Julio Jones is still the best player on the Atlanta Falcons all, all together, offense or defense. Uh, minus the injuries, Julio Jones is still arguably the best wide receiver in the NFL. Um, he has the best, um, you know, uh, receiving yards per game mark in NFL history. I believe he, he uh, receives almost 100 yards, like 95 yards a game, which is the highest um, receiving yards per game average from anybody in NFL history. So I really don't see a reason why the Falcons, um, you know, would try to move a guy like Julio Jones. I've mentioned it numerous times. Uh, Julio Jones has been a model citizen. Julio Jones is one of the greatest athletes to ever play in the NFL. Uh, like I said, arguably the, you know, the best wide receiver, even a guy like Jerry Rice, who everybody considers the GOAT as wide receiver. He even stated that Julio Jones to him is the best wide receiver he's ever seen in NFL history. So that's high praise coming from the, you know, the so-called GOAT Jerry Rice, who I definitely believe is a top three wide receiver all the time as well. Him just coming out and stating that Julio Jones to him is the best wide receiver to ever play the game is a huge deal. So, you know, Julio Jones is definitely a generational talent, definitely a first ballot Hall of Famer when he decides to hang it up. And I would like to see him hang it up or retire as an Atlanta Falcon, similar to a guy like Larry Fitzgerald with the Arizona Cardinals. 
Um, I'm really getting tired of hearing uh, every offseason Julio Jones name come up in trade rumors because I feel like he doesn't deserve, um, you know, he doesn't deserve this. He's a guy that stays out of the media. He's a quiet guy off the field. Um, like I said, a model citizen, a great leader for our team um, and basically a, a franchise wide receiver. You always hear franchise quarterback all the time. But to me, Julio Jones is a franchise player, just like a Matt Ryan, even though even though he doesn't play the um, quarterback position. I feel like because of Julio Jones, you know, because he's a mismatch problem for any team. I really feel like when you come into a game plan, Julio Jones um, is like public enemy number one to opposing defensive coordinators. So Julio Jones is a guy that makes everyone around him better. Guys like Calvin Ridley, guys like Russell Gage. He's a guy that uh, pulls double coverage pretty much on every single play, sometimes triple coverage. So I wouldn't know why the Falcons would want to move a guy like Julio Jones. I feel like if you were to move a guy like Julio Jones, you're not going to get uh, the, his worth. You're not going to be able to get, you know, what he's worth because he is a guy that's uh, past the age of 30 at this point. Um, a guy that has had some injuries in his past. And I really feel like teams that would like to trade for him possibly are not going to be willing to give us what we want or what we need to get back as far as compensation for a guy like Julio Jones. The guy that we were to get, um, if we were to get some draft picks back, I don't believe those draft picks will equate to a player that can come in and give you what Julio Jones gives you, not just on the field, but off the field, in the locker room, as a leader, a guy that can coach up other guys um, in the wide receiver room. It's going to be hard. Like Julio Jones is one of one. He's a one of a kind type of talent. And I just feel like it wouldn't be smart for the Atlanta Falcons to even think about moving a guy like Julio. Personally, I don't think that the Falcons are actively looking to move Julio, which it was stated, um, I believe, by Peter King that he basically reiterated um, that the Falcons didn't come out and say that they're openly looking to move Julio. This mainly was something that was basically brought up by the media, basically stating that teams are making calls about Julio Jones. Doesn't mean that our Atlanta Falcons are looking to move him, but teams are interested. And that pretty much goes to show you, you know, being that teams are calling about Julio Jones, that just shows you even at age 31, 32, whatever, however old Julio is, he still garners that respect around the league as possibly the best wide receiver in the game where teams, even though he's, you know, getting older and he was injured last year, teams still want to trade for him because they know how good of a player he is. Um, and that generational type talent that you can't find, you know, he's a once in a lifetime type player. So with that being said, um, that's pretty much all I really wanted to talk about in this video. Um, also, I just wanted to mention if we did move on from a guy like Julio Jones, I really feel like Terry Fontenot, it would take a lot of balls for uh, Terry Fontenot in this front office to move a guy like Julio, especially because you're coming in as a new regime. I don't see Terry Fontenot coming in his first year, him and Arthur Smith, and basically arguably trading the best player on the team. Like, I couldn't see them doing that. And if they did do that, it would be hell to pay if we, you know, if we get the compensation back and we don't, um, you know, bring in comparable talent. Meaning, if you move on from a guy like Julio Jones, you better be right in moving on from Julio Jones. Like, we better, those, the players that we draft better pan out. And you better pray that Julio Jones doesn't go to another team and help lift them to a Super Bowl because it'll be hell to pay, uh, basically from our Atlanta Falcons fans. And it would be hell to pay for the media. Like as much as the media likes talking about trade talks and things of that nature from Julio Jones, if Julio Jones was able to go move on and go play for another team and win a Super Bowl, we think that the media talks bad about us now. That'll just be one more thing that they can, you know, crap on our Atlanta Falcons about. As far as us, you know, getting rid of Julio and him being able to go on and propel and have success and possibly win a championship elsewhere. So I don't know. You know, you guys let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think about the trade talks. Like I said, every time trade talks come up about Julio Jones, I don't take them seriously. I would have to see it to believe it. Not saying that it's not true that teams are calling about Julio because I do believe Teams always call about your best players, about Hall of Fame worthy type players. But I don't think 
uh, think that the Falcons are thinking about moving on from Julio. I really don't believe that Terry Fontenot and those guys would have, you know, the guts to even pull off a move like that. And personally, as a new GM and a new head coach, you don't want to come in and move on from the best players, Hall of Fame worthy type players as the first move. You definitely want to come in and at least prove that you can at least win games and have a winning season and lead the team to the playoffs before you come in and start making bold moves like moving on from guys like Julio Jones, Matt Ryan, you know, Hall of Fame worthy players. But with that being said, this being your boy, Ju, that's my two cents on the whole Julio Jones trade talk rumors. Um, you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, do you believe that the Falcons are actively, you know, looking to trade Julio? Personally, I think it's all baloney. I don't take it seriously um, or I don't take it serious. If it is uh, something that the Falcons are looking at, I would have to see it to believe it. I'm pretty much 99.9% .9 sure that the Falcons are not going to move on from a guy like Julio because I don't believe we will be able to get the compensation back of a Julio Jones worthy type deal. But with that being said, it's been your boy, Ju. I'll holler at you guys in the next video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. Make sure you hit that like button for your boy. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button if you enjoy my content. Your boy's on the road to 2000. And as well, um, continue to tune in this week. I'm going to have a lot more draft talk coming for you guys. As we know, we're about three days away uh, from the upcoming NFL draft, which is this Thursday night. Tune in to Atlanta Falcons Nation, uh, Jew Talk Sports. I will be streaming live. Uh, for the first round of the NFL draft this Thursday at 8 p.m. So definitely you want to be there. We're going to have a lot going on. We're going to be talking about uh, the pick for the Atlanta Falcons and talking about, um, you know, these draft picks and seeing who the Falcons go with in this upcoming NFL draft. But this being your boy, Ju, as always, Falcons Nation, rise up. Peace.